Hello. Good morning, children. We are back again for the next session. I hope you all are ready for it. Kept all your materials, the required materials ready. Your notebook, pen, pencil, your workbook, content book, everything right front of you on your desk. Right? Okay, children. Last class, we studied about the functions of the blood vessels and heart. So today we are going to take up the next topic. So before we start the class, let's recall a few facts and then we will come to the present topic what to be discussed. So let us recall a few facts before we begin today's session. The food we eat goes into our stomach and is observed in the small intestine. This topic in the fourth standard, in the grade four, you had studied this in um, your uh, the digestive system. In the topic digestive system, that the complete digestion gets over in the small intestine, and from there, how the nutrients are carried to different parts of the body. How does the digested food reach all the parts of the body from here? As, do you remember from the small intestine, as the blood flows, it picks up all the nutrients and supplies to different parts of the body, right? Now, how are waste substances removed from the different parts of the body? This topic also we had discussed in the excretory system in grade four. Are you able to recall? Yes, children. The waste substances um, are removed in the form of carbon dioxide from the lungs and in form of urine, it is removed through the kidneys. The kidneys and lungs are the excretory organs. Right? The skin also acts like an, uh, like an excretory organ by removing uh, the waste in form of sweat. Right? Okay. So, make a no quick note of these two points. Our blood carries digested food from the small intestine and supplies to all parts of the body. Similarly, blood also removes waste from all parts of the body in the form of carbon dioxide and urine through the lungs. So, lungs remove carbon dioxide and the kidneys remove the waste. Right? Okay. I hope you have made a note. Now, we start today's class. We are going to study about the function of blood. Right? So lesson three, functions of blood. You are making a quick note of the keywords as and when I'm reading children. So our aim is to list the different functions of blood in our body, right? The keywords are carbon dioxide, oxygen, hemoglobin, transport, pigment. Carbon dioxide, oxygen, hemoglobin, transport, pigment. Yes, I'm sure you have noted down. Now, coming to this slide, look at this picture. What can you observe here? You see the heart and from the heart, we see some blood vessels entering the heart and some blood vessels are coming out of the heart. They are represented with different colors. The blood vessels are represented with different color. So the blue color represents the veins which carry impure blood from different parts of the body and reaches the heart. Which part of the heart do you remember? Correct. It is reaching the right atria. Yes. Like that, the other side that is from the heart, from this 
heart from the left ventricle the aorta arises carrying pure blood which branches into arteries so the arteries carry what type of blood they carry oxygenated blood that is the blood which is rich in oxygen and supplies the aorta breaks up into several branches and forms the arteries which reaches different parts of the body carrying pure blood supplying oxygen and nutrients so why are they represented with red and blue color so you have to make a note of all these points quickly which i have already explained i give you one minute time so you have to know the importance of the two blood vessels the veins and arteries veins are represented with blue color showing that they are carrying deoxygenated blood the impure blood the blood which is having very less content of oxygen and um, more amount of carbon dioxide so the veins from different parts of the body carries deoxygenated blood and supplies to heart for purification in the next slide i will explain you the flow of blood in the heart the how the exchange of gases takes place right okay i hope you have noted down so the blue color represents the vein which carries what the oxygenated blood from the different parts of the body you have to note even this red color represents arteries carrying oxygenated blood from the heart similarly the blue color represents the veins which carries deoxygenated blood from different parts of the body right children so now let's discuss blood is the transporter of different substances in our body now what does blood transport yes children now listen very carefully i will display the points later first listen carefully see blood transports different substances like it's a uh, tra the arteries carry oxygenated blood and the pure blood reaches different parts of the body so blood supply nutrients like and oxygen to different parts of the body similarly blood also carries the waste from different parts of the body to the heart for that is to the heart and sends it to the lungs for removing the waste and again blood um, also reaches the kidneys to remove the waste to remove the waste from the body right so this are the important functions of blood as well as blood also helps in defense mechanism it protects us from disease causing germs so now you know only this point later in your other classes you will learn in details how blood can protect of our body from disease causing germs see in the blood there is a hemoglobin a red color pigment the hemoglobin which is rich in iron it helps in picking up oxygen so the hemoglobin a red color pigment which helps in carrying oxygen is present in the blood so for that reason the blood can pick up oxygen and supply to the different parts of the body i'm going to display the points you can make a note of all this in your notebook i give you 2 minutes time children sorry yes
you are making a note so blood helps to transport substances which are those substances oxygen and nutrients to different parts of the body from the lungs and stomach respectively from lungs which one oxygen and from stomach the nutrients so that's the reason i wrote the word respectively next it also transport waste and carbon dioxide from different parts of the body to kidneys and lungs respectively to get purified so the lungs will purify carbon dioxide so blood when reaches through the pulmonary artery to either side of the lungs there is exchange of gases blood gives off carbon dioxide and picks up oxygen so which uh, substance in the blood helps to pick up oxygen correct the red color pigment called as hemoglobin like that the blood when reaches the kidneys it removes the other waste the excess salt and water from the body these are the waste things which the kidneys remove from the blood right i hope you all have made a note so now with this diagram i am going to again explain you the flow of blood through the heart already you had studied in the previous class the flow of blood from different parts of the heart's chamber now here as observe very carefully and listen very at attentively see we all know the two important veins the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava which collects impure blood that is deoxygenated blood from different parts of the body that is superior vena cava collecting um, deoxygenated blood from all the upper region of the body from your head then from the uh, facial parts your arms neck the chest region all this blood impure blood entering the right atria similarly from the lower part through the uh, inferior vena cava we see the deoxygenated blood entering the right atria and the valve between this right atria and right ventricle is known as tricuspid valve and due to the contraction of this muscles of right atria blood is forced into right ventricle so this is the left sorry not the left the right part of the heart which carries deoxygenated blood now blood is forced into the pulmonary artery which bifurcates on the either side of the heart and reaches the lungs carrying what type of blood impure blood now here there is exchange of gases blood deoxygenated blood gives off carbon dioxide and picks up oxygen and it gets purified and through this pulmonary veins the veins are exceptional they are carrying the pulmonary veins here are ex exceptional in the heart they carry oxygenated blood see from both the side of the lungs the pulmonary veins actually veins carry deoxygenated blood throughout our body but in heart this pulmonary veins are exceptional they are carrying pure blood from where from lungs to the heart that is which part <clears throat> to the correct to the left at atrium and due to the contraction of the left atrium blood is forced into the left ventricle through the valve <coughs> excuse me 
there is a valve between these two that is the between the left atrium and left ventricle the bicuspid valve blood blood flows by the opening of this valve and there is no reverse flow because of the control of the valve <coughs> excuse me so the blood is now forced into the opening of one valve that is known as the aortic valve from left ventricle blood enters the aorta carrying what type of blood oxygenated blood aorta branches into arteries and sends pure blood to all parts of the body so this is how again blood pure blood reaches all part of the body this is a continuous process an ongoing process is it clear children now how does blood circulate through the heart and the blood vessel what was explained now you find this points here you can make a quick note of all this in your notebook again i give you 2 minutes of time yes 2 minutes of time please note down quickly I hope all of you are noting down. <clears throat> yes. Okay, children. Now we go to the next. Uh, now i want everybody to put on your thinking caps and first read this question why do you think people feel weak or faint if they lose lot of blood as yes, children due to some injury or some during some accident people get injured their body parts and there may be lot of loss of blood at that time people become very weak what must be the reason for this see now we have learned blood transport oxygen to different parts of the body and this oxygen helps us gives us uh, energy it helps to oxidize the food what we eat so that during the digestion of the food which is happening in the digestive system what happens um the energy which is released is due to the oxygen in the blood so if there is loss of blood so what happens there will be very less supply of oxygen to all the different parts of the body especially to the brain so the person feels very weak the body becomes very weak and this makes the person feel very weak so understood so due to some accident or any other injuries there is lot of blood lost and the oxygen supply is very less to different parts of the body and especially which part to the brain and the brain no it is the um coordinator of all other organs in the body so when there is very less supply of blood in our brain so the person feels very weak or faints so you can make a note of this so where is the most of oxygen present in our body where is most of the oxygen present in our body from where the blood picks up oxygen correct from the lungs now what about carbon dioxide where is most of the carbon dioxide in the body from where 
the flat picks up all the uh, carbon dioxide and reaches to which part for purification is yes. again in the lungs so the concentration of carbon dioxide is more again in the lungs so mention some situation in which blood is lost you know in which all situation blood is lost already i had mentioned now make a quick note of the answer of the first question why do you think people feel weak or faint if they lose lot of blood so the answer is given again you can make a note when there is excess loss of blood from the body the oxygen supply to different parts of the body especially to the brain becomes low so what happens at that time hence in absence of oxygen the working of body parts slows down correct yes children okay now we have come to the end of this session now let us see what we have to do today i hope all of you have noted down all these points <clears throat> okay right children so we have to complete the worksheet s3 page number 14 that is functions of blood keep this page ready and note down your home assignment homework what has to be done today read the content book block 1 which section section is functions of blood and answer in your notebook practice question 5 and 6 from the exit content book page number 6 is it clear children i give one minute time make a quick note of it okay so functions of blood now coming to the worksheet the first main is write whether true or false so then you can uh, keep your workbook ready with you and read through your workbook the first question write whether true or false blood transport oxygen from different body parts to the lungs does it blood does it carry oxygen from different parts of the body to the lungs is it right or wrong no it is not correct so it is false statement what is the right answer for that statement blood transport oxygen from heart to different parts of the from the heart means the blood is getting um purified in the lungs so blood is getting purified from the lungs and it is again back to the heart from there it is supplying pure blood to all parts of the body the next question next statement is blood transport waste from body parts to the kidney to the kidneys right yes it is true correct blood carries nutrients from small intestine to different body parts yes or no correct children it is true now coming to the next question they are asking us to complete the chart by explaining the role of blood in each thing you know, each box that is removing carbon dioxide what can you write here yes blood removes carbon dioxide from different parts of the body carrying it to the heart where from heart it reaches the lungs and there is exchange of gases the blood gives off carbon dioxide and picks up oxygen now protecting the body what 
what is the role of blood here blood helps in defense mechanism it protects our body from disease causing germs you can write that next geeta felt geeta felt weak after she cut her finger deeply and lost quite a lot of blood why do you think this happened the last slide we had explained this when there is lot of loss of blood from a person's body what happens the blood supplies oxygen which gives helps to release energy in our body so the oxygen supply is also cut off when there is injury in the body due to loss of blood so the less supply of blood the less supply of oxygen especially to the brain part right so that is the reason the person feels very weak or they may also faint apply the same concept and i'm sure you can complete the worksheet as children you can complete the worksheet even after this session no problem but you have to complete i think already you have completed the first two the last one you are writing now so by this we have come to the end of this session so see you all uh, in the next last part of this block 1 take care be safe and complete all your work thank you children